Welcome to another uh, tutorial about composing with back and cage. Today we're going to talk about quantization with uh, back score and back quantize. So let's uh, first look at um, the back score and how we can create uh, some rhythmic values in back score. Back score uh, deals with relative time uh, as compared to the back roll, which deals with uh, absolute times. While in back uh, score, I use um, uh, rhythmic values as fractions. So I send these values um, to the durations inlet in the back score. And these are four quarter, quarter notes. I will get four quarter notes. If I um, change this, for instance, the second quarter note into a uh, two eighth notes, then I will get quarter note two eighth notes. If I change one of the values to a negative value, for instance, the second eighth note uh, uh, to a negative value, I will get a rest. Uh, so by default, box score is a 4-4 four, four measure. If I want to change that, I can change that from the measure info, info uh, inlet. And that's the second one from the left. So if I send a, for instance, a 3-4, no division symbol there, be careful. Uh, and then I send that in. Uh, every time I send a message to a back uh, score, as, as well as I, when I send a message to a back roll, I need to send a bang afterwards, otherwise nothing happens. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. If I send a bang after, so remember that the comma subdivides this message into two messages. Uh, I get nothing because I rebuilt this back score uh, after with no duration values in. Now I have this and you can see how now this, the duration list here is wrong in a way because I have more values that I need. I have a, a three, four measure, but I have a one quarter note and then two eighth notes, one of which is a rest. And then I have two more quarter notes, so I don't need actually the last one. This doesn't change anything, but you can see how uh, the box score handles that correctly, meaning, meaning it ignores redundant uh, quarter note at the end. So if I want more, more than one measure, I can definitely add that. I can start with a rest, for instance, one four uh, quarter note. And then I can get a little more elaborate with uh, eighth note triplet. So uh, the eighth note triplet is uh, 112. So, and then I do another quarter note. I close that measure. So the first measure is quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note. And the second measure is quarter note rest, um, eighth note triplet, and then a quarter note. And there you go. Now I have two different um, measures and so on and so forth. I can do whatever I want with with this kind of idea. So the last one will be a rest here and you see how the box score handles the beaming correctly. What table does is when whenever it receives a bang, uh, it will output uh, one of the indexes from this slider this different sliders. And the one that is most, more likely to be output is the one with a higher value. So if I send a bang here, I will only get values from zero, the first slider to um, four, which is the last one. So if I only leave the fourth one on and everything else is at zero, I will only get fours. If I introduce a little bit of a three, I will have four and threes, more four than threes. So um, with this abstraction I created and I will make available with the rest of the tutorial patches, um, I can build um, stochastic rhythms using a table object. 
So the table object will allow me to choose uh, the probability of having subdivision. Um, in this case, the general subdivision is chosen by this integer box. So uh, three, the highest one will be um, a half note triplet value. Um, and uh, so if I only give that possibility to the table, everything else is at zero. I will only have the triplet, the half note, tri half note triplet. If I increase the pro probability of having quarter notes too, then I will have some quarter notes. There you go. Um, mostly half notes, but some quarter notes. If I increase the possibility of having eighth notes, then I will have mostly half notes, but some eighth, no eighth notes and quarter notes. If I take out the possibility of having a half note, then that will be gone and I will have uh, only quarter notes and eighth notes. The last slider here uh, tells me uh, the possible probability of having of getting some uh, rest value. So now we'll have some rest. Let's increase the um, probability of having short values durations uh, that then I, wa I want to parse out uh, with a quantization because that's the purpose of this tutorial. So uh, I can, so let's increase the probability of having six tuplets here. So now I have uh, a, a quite a few six tuplet values. Let's see how I can parse them out or quantize them uh, so that the only uh, values that I have available are eighth notes and quarter notes, for instance. To do that, I have to uh, use the back quantize object right here. So, uh, of course, you're uh, encouraged to go and look at the help file here. And uh, there is actually, it's one of those um, back objects that have a whole uh, big help file that you can search for. And you can see here how you can actually uh, uh, search for, you can do roll to score quantization, score to score quantization, which is what we're doing now. The score to score quantization tells me here that I need to first send a quantize message to the score object and then send message to the quantize object with the uh, time signature and that will go in the first inlet of the uh, back quantize object and in the second inlet will go the score object or the back roll in case you're using that after i send a quantize message to it so let's go to our patch uh, and so here I'm sending quantize to my back score. Now it's loaded into the, um, the back quantize object. And then I can send a 4460. And now I have my score, my new score without any 16 notes, as you can see. So compared to the score up here, measure four, I can see I have 16 notes and now in the quantized version i have no 16 notes but just uh, eighth notes that's because i sent a message minimal units uh 112 if i allow for the 24 the 124 to be let through in the quantization pro process then i have my uh, 16 notes that are being represented correctly here so the minimal units uh, message that just tells the quantize object what's the shortest uh, duration that is allowed to be uh, to be let through in the quantization process.